time, I'm your girl Janine, and we're talking rap, hip hop, the only one non-stop. He used to call himself Mark Hardy, but we just call him Brave B. No. Nah boy. nah, boy. Nah, boy. Nah, boy. Come up with Easy down, daughters. Use a big like Sada. No, well, I'm here with Brave Boy. He's amazing. I mean, Marcus Brave Boy, a.k.a. Mark Hardy, a.k.a. Yo, yo. Brave Boy. He's with me and uh, couldn't be more honored. I mean, I've been following your career for quite some time. And uh, you're one of the artists that, duh, if I'm doing an entertainment show, gotta get you on the show first thing first. Uh, I, I love the fact that you do things like now, nah boy. You know, because I's a trainee and we like stuff like that. Tell me, how come you're stuck to this accent? How come you're stuck to your accent? Because there are a lot of rappers, young people or people out there that think to be a rapper, you have to sound American. Why, but, why keep to your own? Tell me why. Well, the thing is, I know a lot of people do consider me, um, a, a box me in as a rapper. But the funny thing is, I never really considered myself a, a rapper. The, the uh, association with the hip-hop community just came naturally. I'm actually more of a dancehall artist slash ragga nice. soca artist. Uh -huh. So there was this project I did where I started doing like chanting on beats. Uh -huh. And the hip hop community in Trinidad accepted it. So and because of how I dress, I'm a swag and stuff. They call and you a rapper. Yeah, yes. they call me a rapper. But I, I'm just an artist. You're just an, an artist. artist. He's just I, an artist. He's just out here trying to be an artist addicted yeah. to progress, you know. So for me I grew up really admiring ragga soca artists. Mm -hmm. I look up to Bungie Gallen, uh, my favorite group of all time is Treason Family. Treason Family. Treason Family. Yeah. Um, KMC, Atta Clan, Ghetto Flex. That whole era artists, they really inspired me. Yeah. Um, especially Treason, they showed me that you could be from Trinidad and you could sing something different. As in, I love soca, but I didn't want to express myself with the typical, lyrically, the typical yeah. soca songs. Mm. So for me, um, I, and I also grew up on dancehall and hip hop, but I al always felt like there must be a way to execute dancehall and hip hop, but still maintain your accent. And I think Treason showed me that because their style was kind of dancehall influence mm -hmm. and Bungie and all of them. Yeah. But it was still very trendy and very local. Mm -hmm. So they really inspired me to maintain the accent. And it's something that I've worked on for years. Uh, no, you know, like sometimes people say that chanting makes you sound Jamaican. Okay. But I, 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 I sound like a Trinidadian. You do sound like a Trinidadian, and that's one of the things I love about you because to me, you represent the red, white, and the black wherever you go because you just, from the time you hear a one verse, one bar, yep. you know you're from Trinidad and Tobago, and that's something yep. that I really admire because a lot of artists shy away from that. A lot of artists try to, what I would say, uh, try to fit in a mold and a bracket, and I like the fact that you, th you went out of the box and you do your own thing, yeah? Yeah, no, I, I just, I always enjoy originality. I'm an only child. So that's first of all. Me too. So the only children mafia. Only children. Big up, big up, big up all the only children. Only ones. But being an only child and June, you could, you could connect with this as well. Like, uh, you're just unique, you know, like um, you, you spend a lot of time by yourself and you really, sometimes yourself becomes your best friend, you know. That's so, what I'm saying. So from the way I dress to my personality to my style of music, I just think I'm a very unique individual. And that's always been cool to me. Like, I like the fact that I'm always different. Like, um, I will experiment with different types of music. I used to actually produce music. Right. And the first, the first beat I ever produced when I was like 15 years old was a drum and bass soaker. Nice. So I was always very weird and different. And I mean, sometimes to a lot of people, to viewers out there, it might look like being an artist is an easy thing. But just like being an athlete, it, it, it just takes work. You have to train consistently. Like, songwriting is an art, performing is an art. Just dressing as an artist is art, you know. So uh, I'm trying to be the best artist I can be. And then when I've achieved that, I'll double more into production. I even had dreams of being a DJ as well. Okay. And I used to be in a song system when I was nice. younger. And that's what actually. What song system was that? You were it was called um, Fifth Element Song System. Oh, no way. <laughs> Why do I even know who these people are? And I'll take you to the club, Fifth I know, Element. I do. Okay, so wait. <laughs> Remember back in the day when they used to have little events at Chaconia? Did you ever go to those house uh, parties? I'll tell you how days and June, I'll tell you how far we reach. We performed, we practiced for months and we performed at one house party uh, and in West Warren's actually. That's what I'm saying. I know who you are. I know who Fifth but Element you know, is. But you know what happened? What? After the first five songs, the computer shut down and that was the end of Fifth yeah, Element. Yeah, but was, can I ask you a question? Who else was part of the group? 
It was myself and my neighbors, Sergio and Wesley. That's why and I we, know what you know. We couldn't afford the plates. So okay. that's how I started actually becoming an artist. Because I used to make my own doublets. I used to imitate Elephant Man <laughs> and Bounty Canvas. So wait, you used to make fraud doublets. Stop not, it. Not Stop fraud, it. Not fraud, no, but, you have to but just... You one now. Yeah. I want to hear one now. Please, right. go ahead. By all means, take your time and think. Have a sip. But I need to hear this Let's fraudulent... I, I need to hear this fraudulent doublet. I need to hear it. So we had one for called She Like Bread. Uh-huh. You know, Mr. Vegas had a song called She's A. I oh, think you all know that song, right? So let me see if I can remember it. Well, if a girl I eat two hops in a one night, then we know. She like bread. If she a clean up the whole of Kiss Factory, then we know. She like bread. <laughs> kiss, pick up yourself. <laughs> and remember, um, there was a song from, I think it was Diddy and g Dep called Make This Money. Make This Money. Take this. Yes, yes. So we sang Make This Roti. Take this. So funny enough, from us talking, chivalrous, that is how I got discovered as an artist. Make This Roti. <laughs> There was this project we worked on called Roti Gold. Remember this have Reggae Gold? Mm. We made a compilation of just talking stupid. That is funny. So you know, you know this song is the voodoo. And, it, and all yes, that kind of song. Yes, I do know I, that d- I don't hate on those artists because I started off doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. I started off just catching kicks and they yeah. didn't have social media back in my days. I felt like if they had social media, maybe Come I would on, Marcus, you're not that old. Back yeah, in was, your days. Yeah, they didn't have social media. I was just true, before true. social media. Right. But to be honest, that, that, that started my career and um, a producer by the name of Ken Holder, okay. who is Treasons. He was the person responsible for all Treasons hits. Yeah. He discovered me and I used to actually work out at Marshall's studio mm-hmm. um, next to Bishops. And that's how I got started in the industry. So here was the scene. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How does it go? Pump in, pump in. No, no. Now, nah, boy. Now, nah, boy. No, that's, that's, that, nah, that's, boy. Nah, that's, boy. that's two different nah, songs. Oh, maybe I just mixed it in my head then. No, no, that's, that, that's the, um, the lovely, I have pioneers in my the head. lovely drinks we have in here. So. Oh, we mixing everything. <laughs> Shout out to White Oak. Hi. Big up, big up, big up. Going? Johnny Walker keeps me walking as always, guys. You know that. So, all, so rock is all, June, all you have to say, my uh, dear, is uh, nah, boy. Nah, boy. That's all you have to say. Okay. You ready? I am... Ready, like Freddie. And I'll point it, right? So oh, I'll say... good, because I was like, when am I going to say now, nah, boy? You're just saying to tell me, you know? Okay, I'm ready I'll let now. you know, right? All so right, ready? See. Viewers, you're ready? So here was the scene. Now, nah, boy. All right, here with my team. Now, nah, boy. Represent for the red, nah, white, nah, black. Boy. Every day oh, we be living our dreams. Now, nah, boy. So just say what you feel. Now, nah, boy. We on show time. Now, nah, boy. All around the world, they ask we where we from. We say TNT, now, nah, nah, boy. Now, nah, boy. Now, nah, boy. Now, nah, boy. Nah, boy. We nah on boy. Showtime. Now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. Now, nah nah boy. Big up, Junine. Now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. If you're from Trinidad, now, nah boy. Right. Now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. You have it, you have it. If you're from Trinidad, now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. Let, let me hear you. From Bago, now, nah boy. Now, nah boy. Let me hear your nah. voice now. Oh, okay. Um, listen. Listen, listen, listen. This is Cardi J. Stepping in the building, I got my Johnny A. We gonna take a sip, hey. and I'm gonna tell you, hey, Republic Bank, we miss, hey. and I need my money, yeah. Hey. Bitches hey. on the top, hey. get my hey. money, bitch. Hey. I want my money, nigga. Come on, come on. Oops, can I say those things? Okay, my bad. <laughs> you might have to edit out some um, somebody said, but that was actually pretty good, June. Thanks. Round of applause. Round of applause. Thank round of applause. you. I feel we could do a track together, you know, June. Really? I feel so. I, feel I got so. you. I feel so. Okay. When I woke up this morning, I said, God bless me with the interviews. I didn't know what was coming. But now, guys, for the first time, I'm going to be an artist. I come out, I say it loud and proud, and uh, we're doing a collaboration. Ru- ru- you, could, you could say rude girl like me. So, oh, I, rude boy like me, okay. rude, rude, rude girl like she. She's addicted to high rollers. She's in love with the fast life. She spent her time spending real dollars. Yeah, know she will live the nice life. She's attracted to finer things, expensive cars and the diamond rings, because she thought that was everything, until she fell in love with a boy like me, a rude boy like me, a swagger boy like me, a singer boy like me, until she fell in love with a boy like me, a rasta boy like me, a trini boy like me. On short time, I said a boy like me, 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 a rude boy like me, 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 a swagger boy like me, 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 a singer boy like me, 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 me. 
Wow. You're the boy in me. I swag 